after the debate, I had the chance to sit down with both candidates. Here's my conversation with Congressman Charlie Crist and why he called Nikki Fried desperate during the debate. Congressman, thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Jackie. So we just wrapped up the debate between you and Commissioner Freed. How do you think it went? I think it went great. You know, I think it's always important for citizens to have the opportunity to see us kind of under pressure in a debate situation, if you will, and see how we handle ourselves. And uh, I felt very good about it. And uh, I want to thank you all again for broadcasting. Yeah, it was a first to do it in a bilingual situation. You made history. Yes, we did. So we, we covered a lot of territory from abortion to the environment to the economy, immigration. What do you think when voters go to the poll, when Floridians go to the polls, what do you think will be their main issue that they will be voting on? Well, there's going to be several things. I mean, if you're a woman, I think Roe versus Wade is tippy top. Um, you know, I was raised with three sisters. I'm an only son. Uh, respecting women and making sure they have the right to make their decision about their health, about, you know, their health care uh, and their future is indispensable. And I, and I think not to support that is to disrespect women. That's why I've always supported a woman's right to choose as a state senator, as governor. I'm the only candidate, frankly, who's vetoed ever an anti-abortion bill in this race. Very proud to have done that. I even did it as a Republican, as a matter of fact. And then now, as a member of Congress representing Tampa Bay, uh, I've got 100% rating from NARAL, 100% rating from Planned Parenthood on a woman's right to choose. You said that the commissioner was desperate. Why did you say that? Because I'm afraid she is, and I feel for her. I mean, you know, that's not a fun place to be, but, you know, she's 17 to 21 points down if polling is even accurate in the primary, uh, and that's not a fun place to be. And sometimes when you're in a position like that, you do things you otherwise might not do, and that, I think that's what we saw in the debate today. There are some that suggest that perhaps <clears throat> she should drop out because you are ahead in some of the polls, um, that the party could be divided. Do you agree with that? Well, I asked her to announce what I did today in the debate, that if she were to win the primary, I would endorse her that night. Uh, I didn't hear her say that. Uh, that was a bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, we have to be united. We have to be united. The race against Governor DeSantis is not going to be easy, but it is eminently doable, particularly if the Democratic Party and independents and even moderate Republicans want something different than what we have up there in Tallahassee right now. He doesn't care about Florida. He cares about himself. He cares more about the White House than your house. And Florida deserves better. We deserve a governor who really does care about our people, about our environment, about our schools, and about our future. But it's been close to 30 years since we've had a Democrat in the governor's mansion. And as we mentioned in the debate, uh, the polls for President Biden are at an all-time low. And former President Trump won the state. And a lot of that is due in part to the Hispanic vote, that many of them voted for the Hispanic ticket. How do you plan to turn that around? Well, it's a different election. <laughs> you know, hopefully, God willing, the primary goes well. It's going to be Charlie Crist versus Ron DeSantis, not Joe Biden. And I love the president, but that's a completely different kettle of fish. I mean, I've been your governor before. I've been your attorney general and fought for your civil rights before. I've been your commissioner of education. Many Floridians know that, realize it, and I think some of them yearn for a day when we had somebody who is governor of Florida that really has a heart, is a decent human being, cares about people more than he cares about his own political future. I'm excited about the race, and I'm the only one polling ahead of him right now. This will be the only primary debate, I understand. If you were to win the primary, would you debate the governor? Yeah, absolutely. I hope he debates me. What's the plan from here to primary? Work hard. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this every day as much as I humanly can. And Florida's special to me. And the primary is not that far away now, about a month. And uh, I'm excited about it. I hope it goes well, God willing. And then on to the general election and we'll get rid of Ron. Is there any issue that we did not address, did not have time to address in the debate that you would have liked to have addressed? No, I think you hit them all. You're very comprehensive as always. Well, Congressman, as always, we thank you for joining us and good luck to you. Thank you, Jackie. My pleasure.